Welcome back to Wales Women Football Stars. My name's Matt Slater and today I'm joined by Brighton and Wales International Kaylee Green. How are you today, Kaylee? Yeah, I'm good, thank you very much. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. And obviously this has been a tough time for both you and your family. How have you been coping during lockdown and how have you been keeping yourself fit to make sure you're ready for when football returns? Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, I think it's a tough time for everybody, especially in this pandemic at the moment. Um, personally, for me, it's, it's been a bit difficult because I've been away from home. Um, obviously, most of my family are in Wales and Brighton, so it's, it's been a bit difficult for me. Uh, at the start, it wasn't too bad. You know, we, we were still having programmes. We didn't know where the league was, was heading, where it was going to end or continue. So at the beginning, we were busy still doing, you know, individual programmes, gym sessions, um, as well as out, going out and doing running. So, um, so yeah, I was pretty much busy through that. Um, but then when it got to the decision at the end of the season, it was kind of like a, a bit of a relief because it was a bit more clarity in, in how this, you know, what was going to happen with the season. Um, but now I've just taken time out um, just to, to, you know, regather myself ready for when we go back. And before you became a professional footballer, you had stints in supermarkets, call centres, and even did a course in plumbing. How did that come about? Um, I took some time out of football um, just because there was a point in my life where, I, you know, I wasn't kind of enjoying, not so much enjoying football, but, you know, it just, it wasn't clicking for me, even though I'm still doing well. Um, you know, I was I was a young player. I was playing in the senior women's team. You know, I, I was you know one of the starting eleven. So you know, I, I was still you know I was still playing at a, you know a good level. Um, but at the time, it just it just didn't feel right for me. And what I was continuing, you know, the love that I, I shared for you know for many years, we, I was kind of losing that a little bit. So I decided to take some time out. Um, just got some you know jobs here, there, and and stuff like that. Um, and then I decided to, to kind of go back to football, which was around about six years after. Um, and then when I went back to football then, I think I just decided to go and do a plumbing course. So I've always been interested in trade. Um, so yeah, I kind of went, went to college, done my level one, and then hopefully I'm going to go and do my level two, um, hopefully this year. So yeah, um, hopefully I can complete that. And, and that's just something for, for life after football, you know. I'm not a young player anymore and I do have to look past football was just I think it was just kind of getting introduced you know um, as, as full time and and I think the time I did it was probably the right time personally for me and I suppose it was probably the right time because when I did come back women's um, women's sport in general it, you know it's it gone massive it, it, you know it was growing the whole game was growing so the particular time that I took the break I think it was right for myself and probably at the time of women's football as well because the time I've come back, you know, I um, I think my first year back within football, I got selected for the international when Jane was the manager. So it, it kind of started flowing it and it came back for me. So, um, yeah, I, I think for me it was the right time. And because now I'm 32, I think it's allowed me to, to push my international career a little bit more and a bit longer, if I'm to be honest with you, and, and as well as my club level. And like you said, women's football has grown so much. Um, just how big do you think it will go? Um, yeah, I, I think it can it can go much more much more further. You know, there's so much more interest. If you look at football now, you know it's again advertised on telly. Um, there's a lot more media um, coverage on it, which I think is fantastic. And I and I think there's a lot more interest from you know the younger generation, um, you know, pushing it through. So I think it's fantastic. Now we've become you know, professional footballers and, and we have that status and it's getting put a bit more, I think it's fantastic. But, you know, we still have a long way to go. And lastly, do you ever think it will get to the same stage as men's football in terms of transfer fees and sponsorships and that type of thing? You know, if you're looking to where we are now, to where, you know, a few years ago, I, I think it is definitely going in the right direction. Uh, whether it's going to get as big as the men, it's, it's totally different. You know, if you look at the men's game, the money comes from, you know, sponsorships, you know, fans coming to watch, you know, they have thousands of people to come. Do we want to get to that stage? Yes, and it is growing. You know, if 
if you look at you know when it's Arsenal and Chelsea the numbers you know if you look at when it was Tottenham and West Ham it was you know that the, the stadium was fantastic I think it was like 30 odd thousand so if we are going in the right direction are we close to the men probably not yet but hopefully in a few you know a few years if if we keep pushing and um and we keep you know selling the the, the game um I think you know we, we can get close to them yes this is Matt Slater for Sporting Ferret. Thanks for joining me for episode two of Wales Women Football Stars. Join me again next week where I'll be interviewing yet another Welsh international.